Live from Southwest Florida's Morning News Source, this is Fox 4 News Rising. All right, we are talking to Wayne Bradshaw this morning, and we're talking about self-defense because women, you probably know, even men, you could probably use these moves as well, that you can never be too careful. That's so, so true, and Wayne is with Rap Defense. He's going to tell us a little bit about how we channel fear into anger, and that actually probably helps give you some extra oomph yeah. when oh, you're yeah. going after the bad guys. Last time we were on the show, we talked about taking actually taking a pair of scissors and putting it into a person's eye, which That's is a gruesome, horrific yeah. thought. Right. And we know it's against human nature to actually do something like that. Right. Thank God. But if you look at the case studies and see what women say that have successfully fought off attackers, you're going to find one like common denominator. Mm -hmm. And they were able to, even, even if they weren't trained in how to, in defensive tactics, uh, and that, that common denominator was anger. What they did is they channeled their fear into mm -hmm. anger. Instead of thinking, oh my God, this is happening to me, I don't know what I'm going to do. Right. They got righteously angry at the person that was trying to violate them, and that gave them the strength to fight back. Right, right, right. Yeah. And, and believe it or not, it's actually something you can practice. I mean, you practice being angry at another person. But in your mind, if you, when you practice moves, defensive tactics, you think to yourself, well, what's my mindset going to be right. in the event of this happening? You right. think to yourself, well, I'm going to channel into anger, and you're going you're gonna to be furious at the person for doing what they're trying to do to you. I'm guessing it's kind of like if a bad situation is happening, a car falls on someone, you can have that adrenaline rush and pick it up. up. Oh, yeah. Similar, it's just, right? Very, very much similar. Okay. There was, there's been case studies. Women absolutely untrained in any sort of martial art were able to fight people just out of sheer just anger and right. just fighting back and through luck we're able to subdue if right. you know if you know the defensive tactics of course it makes it a lot easier right. and that and, focus uh, probably so critical and being able to focus on the moves as well that you've learned or not learned. no question about it and just instantly reacting to situations as they come okay so do you have a kind of scenario for us today maybe something we can use in the home well well, we, a, a common heis, household item, or and just about anywhere, you always, everybody has a book laying around yeah, somewhere, somewhere, right? somewhere. This is Amy's Wegman book, by <laughs> yes. the way. Yes, it um, is. And, you know, this is a nice shield to use, for one thing. If a person has a weapon and they're trying to thrust at you, you can use the book as a shield. Right. Also, you notice if it's a hardcover book, it kind of has pointed edges right. on it. Right, right. Which you want to shove toward the person's eye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Amy's like, I'm like, no! <laughs> I, I need to get mad at Wayne. I need to <laughs> <laughs> or you can take it and shove it into the, a man's throat and smash it up into their atom. That's going to catch you. We hear that Cut a lot because you say a lot of times the guys are expecting, you know, a punch in the stomach. Down below. Like yeah. You go for their face. Oh, yeah. And, this, and, it's, and you always want to direct it straight at the person. It's easy to deflect something that's swinging sideways. Yeah. Or s more easy, I should say. Yeah. But you know if you're what? pushing straight in it's a lot more dangerous. And Wayne's going to have lots more tips for us coming up in the 8 o'clock, but right now, if you need to get in touch with Wayne, you can give him a call at Rap Defense, 239-989-8971, or log on to the website, www.rapdefense.com. Live from Southwest Florida's morning news source, this is Fox 4 News Rising. That big guy is Wayne Bradshaw. He's with Rap Defense. And it is back to school time. And no, contrary to belief, I'm not going back to school. <laughs> but we're talking about safety for students, women, anyone, right. really. Any yeah. Day. And, you know, you always teach us, obviously, so important to, you know, use what you have around you to protect yourself. So if you're a kid, maybe even an adult in college, how can you protect yourself with your book bag? Well, we just used the book before as, as a shield. Right. And then you could thrust with the pointed edge of the book or use it actually to slam somebody with it. If you're ever going to hit somebody, if you have a chance to slam, you want to hit them with this part of your this part of that your head. Soft part, right? Yeah, right. right here behind here, and that's going to put them to sleep faster than any other way of doing it. The sleeper. As far as the bag goes, it's uh, it can be an inconvenience because people can actually straight. grab it and, and take control true, of you with you, true, you know. Yeah. Uh, as as a shield, it's good because you usually have books or something in it, and you can hold it. Yeah. Now, a shield's a great thing, just like when we were using the book before, but it's got its limitations as well. If someone's thrusting at you, say, with a, like a blade or a knife, it's, it's a great to have a shield. But usually you get one chance. Right. After that, they get pretty smart. They stop yeah. at one time, and maybe they thrust or grab and, and, and do something like that. Right. So what you want to do, especially if you have a bag, is you want to do like we did with a chair, remember? Where you have it as a, as a shield, and then you rush into the person with it and okay. try to knock them backwards. Okay. That's better than standing there and try to use it to parry right. the Don't moves. just block, knock. Right. Yeah, you want to get 
it in front of you and just use it and wow. just rush the person backwards. And even a smaller person could do this very effectively against a larger person and just move forward into the center part of their mass. And they'll go back like that. And keep going. And just, and just keep going until you take them down. Now, yeah. you mentioned this situation. It could be used against you if somebody grabs it. So what do you do then if somebody's pulling well, on like a bag? that's a good question. If, if it gets pulled away and you're actually engaging in a tug of war, remember that, the say, say if you were grabbing the bag and you were trying to pull. Now, she's got both her hands on the back, so that... Now yeah. she, I don't have to worry about her hands now. So at uh, that point, I can just come in and smash into the knee. They're so thinking about the bag. <laughs> Leave her alone! <laughs> no, kidding. Well, <laughs> <laughs> <Well, laughs> you can smash me in the knee. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah. that's good. If they've got their hands on it, they're distracted. Yeah. So exactly. go for something exactly. else. Exactly. So if you if you can get them to engage in some sort of tug of war for the bag, or, or like women with a purse, sure, they're holding on to the purse. They're trying to yank it they're away. They're focusing Let go here. And then you go right for, for the soft spot down below. Now, we learn a lot of moves from Wayne, and, and he is, you know, a former police officer. But I know a lot of people can't retain all this information right away. But now you have actual digital images of these moves on your website. That's or right. you can go right to the website, and you can download it onto a disk. I want to get this information out to as many people as possible, as inexpensively as possible. So I was able to get a technician to come in. So you can just download the whole series right there, and you can learn it right then and there on the spot. That's fabulous. And that website is www.rapdefense.com if you want to check it out. Also, if you want to get in touch with Wayne, maybe he can help a whole group of your friends learn some self-defense. It's 239-989-8971. Wayne, thanks again for all the tips. Hey, the pleasure is yes, all mine, ladies. Always nice a pleasure. And someone you might have to protect yourself from if you <laughs> see him in a dark alleyway is our wild Bill Wood. Hey, Bill. Hey, Wayne, Jeff and I were wondering, how'd you get those biceps? <laughs> <laughs> I guess anyway. God was good to me. Yeah, he, he, was, he was. And good to us as well. Absolutely. Hey, coming up, the suspense is over. Find out if Banana Peel the Clown gets into the Guinness Book of World Records, find out if those people waiting all night long get free chickens. Coming up on Wild Bill Porter Roadshow.